click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to this video we are with transferred electron devices the chapter number 4 of microwave engineering so the very popular gun diode which is based on to the semiconductor compound most possibly the gallium arsenide we are considering here for the n type we have seen the gun effect the rws theory the two valley model we have solved the two problems on to it the high field domain formation and the various modes of operation we are covered with respect to the last and the very popular mode that is lsa mode we have this particular diode called as lsa diode let us see the details so here we start with our topic lsa diode here lsa stands for the limited space charge accumulation so for limited space we have ls and for the charge accumulation we have capital a now what is the charge that has a role in this particular diode the answer is it is the electron when we take the semiconductor compound of n type so for n type the majority charge carriers are the free electrons so here we consider here as n type gallium arsenide substrate and this will be nothing but the lsa diodes provided that according to the criterion that we have seen to classify the various modes of operation it is operated into the lsa mode of the gun diode here so to operate it into the lsa mode we have the multiplication of the doping concentration n0 with the specimen length capital l that we can denote like this into the diagram that is greater than 10 raised to the power 12 per centimeter square here now we have another parameter to decide whether the gun diode is operating into the lsa mode or not that it is the ratio of here we have the ratio of doping concentration n0 to the operating frequency f so this ranges between 2 into 10 raised to the power 5 up to 2 into 10 to the power 4 seconds per here we have centimeter cube now the inventor of this lsa diode lsa diode is now nothing but a gun diode operated into the lsa mode here the inventor is the copland and he has discovered it by taking the gun diode operating into the lsa mode and kept inside a resonator the resonator is tuned to the resonant frequency given by the resonant frequency represented as f0 and it is the ratio of 1 upon tau 0 the time duration for one cycle for the case of resonance here now it can be better explained for the lsa diode with the help of the diagram here so we take a diagram so in this diagram we have the part here that represents the electric field applied to this n type gallium arsenide versus the drift velocity that generally we represent v sub x d so in this particular graph here we have the drift velocity measured in terms of centimeters per second that i mention drift velocity in terms of centimeters per second now the very important value of this drift velocity that it is 10 to the power 7 centimeters per second that has decided most of the classification with respect to the modes whether it is transit time gun mode or the delayed mode or the quenched mode or the lsa mode that has the higher value of the velocity here now if initially we start at zero while increasing the electric field applied to the semiconductor substrate here we have a linear growth into the drift velocity here if it grows further we can denote it as the mobility here mu sub x l is equal to 
drift velocity vd divided by e here now it achieves a position here that crosses the threshold value of the electric field from it we observe a drop down into the drift velocity and finally the conduction current density so this value of electric field is marked as the threshold value e sub x th now we come to this point where we can mark e sub x b that we shall be explaining here and now this is the valley point and after that we have a sustained value of velocity so here the mobility we can denote as mu sub x u is equal to the ratio vd divided by e here so if the drop down continues so this is into the negative the negative mobility can be denoted as mu sub x n it is actually a negative differential of the drift velocity with respect to the electric field that has been applied here so here it is the drift velocity versus the electric field applied with respect to this we have the time duration parameter taken on to this vertical axis going towards the negative here we can see with respect to the first graph but we can be taking the positive values here and again the electric field on to the horizontal axis now with respect to the e sub x b that we can say it is a bias here we have a swing so the swing represents finally the rf signal under consideration and for this particular signal the time duration we can represent tau sub x zero here so this is the dc bias here now we have the tau sub x zero we know we have the knowledge of the transit time and accordingly we can have the various modes of operation into the gun diode and we want the lsa mode to operate here so as we see that the rf signal has a swing with respect to the diagram that we have shown here the accumulation of the space charge starts at the location of the cathode in the figure we notice that the time duration with respect to the rf signal is very very less than to the time that has been required to grow a domain there therefore it uh, is maintained with respect to the threshold value but as we know that the period of the rf signal tau sub x zero is very very greater than tau sub x d the dielectric relaxation time the space charge it drained in the very small time duration therefore we can say that the device spends most of the rf cycle into the negative resistance region as the time duration with respect to the rf cycle tau sub x zero is very very greater than tau sub x d the dielectric relaxation time there it is the drain of the space charge accumulated into the rf cycle in very short duration therefore the space charge accumulation is not allowed at the cathode location now we can see that most of the rf cycles are maintained at the negative state that we have seen into the diagram here whatever the frequency of operation that we have seen here the frequency of operation with respect to the resonance is independent of the transit time that we have already denoted now the two limitations of the lsa diode are that the lsa diode is very very sensitive to the fluctuations into the doping concentrations the fluctuations or the change into the temperatures we can say here and it is also sensitive to the load and for not allowing the domain formation the rf circuitry has to allow the and for not allowing the domain formation again the rf signal has to allow the field to build up very very quickly now we shall be taking the output power considerations and with respect to the lsa diode the output power can be expressed as capital t will be equal to eta into capital v0 into capital i0 which can be further expressed as 
the efficiency eta in multiplication to capital M into E sub x th the threshold value into the device length capital L and the second bracket involves here we have the doping concentration N0 the electric charge the velocity V0 along with capital A. So in this representation of the output power we have several parameters we shall be explaining the parameters one by one. Eta, eta is called as DC to RF conversion efficiency. We have V0 represented here. This is called as operating voltage of the LSA diode. Next to that, we have I0. So I0 is called as operating current. Capital M is expressed here. So capital M is called as a multiple of operating voltage. above the negative resistance threshold is the expected case here. Now here we have ETH that is the threshold field. Typically the value is 3400 volts per centimeter or sometimes it is also referred to as 3300 volts per centimeter. Capital L is the device length. We have N0 representing the doping concentration. E is the electric charge. V0 is called as the average dripped velocity. So this is for the electron and it is about 10 to the power 7 centimeter per second. Whereas lastly we have the representation of capital A and this is called as the device area. Now we can have one comment with respect to this particular diode. The designing of the diode, we can select the doping concentration N0 with respect to the desired value of the operating frequency F0 at the resonance frequency. So this was all about the LSA diode. By the next lecture, we shall be having a practice of simple problem. So problem based on to the LSA diode we shall be addressing. I hope you are getting the details of microwave engineering very well. For more information like this, you can subscribe to EKEDA channel. Thank you.